Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today, what we're going to talk about is active recovery days. It's one of the high, one of the, probably the biggest questions we get asked about, especially if we're out in gyms and um, or anywhere like that. Uh, but it's also a question I've been asked about on YouTube a lot about is what, how I how I make my active recovery days, what I do during them. Um, so we're going to go into it. On a typical active recovery day, you want to keep the intensity up, but you want to lower the drop the volume a ton and obviously not do anything that's going to tax your your central nervous system so you're not going to go super heavy on anything but you are going to keep the intensity up so basically you want to generate some blood flow uh, move the blood get a sweat get your heart rate up so a typical active rest day for me uh, in the past right now it's a little different because obviously my training is a little different with the injury um, but when I'm in season, a typical active recovery day would look something like this. You guys can back it off if you need to. Again, like I said, you don't want the volume to be high, uh, but you might look at this and think, oh, maybe that's a little high for me. So obviously just back it off and take it for what it is. So first workout I would look at doing something like three rounds of 20 calorie row and eight bench at, uh, at a weight that's not gonna make me sore. So probably between 185 to 205, somewhere around there. And then what I like to do, I like to basically put three different little workouts together um, that kind of keep me moving and doing different, but I'm not hitting the same uh, body part where I'm gonna get sore from this. So, so I'll typically rest five minutes and I'll do another three rounds, uh, 20 calorie bike and 100 double unders something like that, right? Not gonna get sore from this, but the heart rate's gonna get high and you're gonna sweat. And then rest another five minutes. Man, that guy's handwriting is horrible. Um, three rounds, five snatch, one, 55, and bar facing burpee yeah like so five snatches 155 10 bar facing burpee right and and then I that would that would probably be the end of actually exercising and then I'd go into a ton of stretching ton of mobility um, actually get like you know get a good ice bath get a you know a sauna session in, and then relax and get out of the gym so you're in and out of the gym pretty quick with something like this again you're getting your heart rate up high you are sweating but you are not doing anything that's going to tax your muscles to where you're sore the next day from it or your CNS, right? So you're not going super heavy with anything. Um, this is definitely a, a, a pretty standard active, re active recovery day for me. So get in, get the work done and get out of the gym and then so then you can actually let your mind reset as well. That's one of the biggest things is getting out of the gym, getting away from the gym. But on active recovery day, you still wanna do something and move, uh, just not, like I said, something that's gonna tax you. So that's typically how I attack my active recovery days in season. Like I said, this is just a, a you know, w when you're an upper games athlete or a high level athlete, um, you know, that this is pretty low volume. Uh, if, you, if you look at a lot of the guys training and stuff like that and girls training that the volume is gonna be way, on a, on a normal day, the volume is gonna be way much, way higher than this. So uh, yeah, that's an active recovery day for me. Um, you could also just go on a long, like a light, like a trail run somewhere, but not, like I said, your intensity can be high, volume's got to be a little bit lower. On a, on a run, you'd maybe want to do like two miles, so, but not all out, maybe at like a 75% type pace. Um, go on a swim, a lot of people like to do swimming. I don't like to use swimming because swimming crushes me, because uh, I, I have a hard time swimming slow. Um, not saying I swim fast, but like, I guess my output is hard when I'm in the water. I'm not too relaxed, I guess. Which is, which is, uh, yeah, it's, which is the exact opposite of what you should be doing. <laughs> so, yeah, active recovery day, you know, take it for what it is. These are, I always, I typically like to use machines. They typically help. Like I said, you're not going 100% on these, but you know, you are going hard to get, to get your heart rate up and get a sweat going. So, yeah, active recovery day, boom. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do the thing, subscribe, and don't forget to pay the man.